gayest experience you've ever had in your life? I got <laughs> up on a bus. <laughs> I did not know it was wow. gonna go that far. I also got a <laughs> guy once in Mexico. Hey! host because I'm, I just did it to you again. Oh my God, I'm uh, fucking bleeding. This is a great way to start off something's burning. Whoa. How the fuck am I bleeding? I know how, I've been picking my elbow all morning. Did you see me do that? No, what's, yeah. what's on it? Nothing, it was just dry and I picked it. Now I'm Yikes. bleeding. Oh, yeah, well, I guess I have to wash my hands. <laughs> I was in a meeting one time and I had a scab on my face. I, I didn't know what it was. I was just picking up my face <laughs> and my face started bleeding in the meeting. <laughs> Wow. I bet this is the only cooking show that starts with the chef bleeding. <laughs> you know, I guess I have to wash my hands now. Uh, yeah. And you're, both of you are like, can you put on gloves? <laughs> you ready for this? Yeah. First time I met Je Jessica Curson, do you remember? Oh, yeah. my guest, my guest today. Jessica Curson, Mark Norman, hey. two of the funniest motherfuckers in town. That's so hey. nice. Do you remember the first time I met you? No. Okay, I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you the story in small details that I think make stories interesting. Uh, Comics Comedy Club. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Meatpacking. Uh, I was yeah. getting paid $5,000 for the weekend. <laughs> Pretty good. Amazing. That's a lot. That's that a was lot. And they put 10 me up years at, ago. They put me up at the hotel across the street. Nice wow. hotel. Big bar. Up. I'm, I'm like, the kid's making it. I'm making it. <laughs> this is how I thought it would play out, right? Uh, Joe DeRosa's hosting. Yeah. yeah. Jessica's featuring. All right. Joe goes up. I see Jessica. I say hi to her. Meet her. Joe comes in and switches and comes into the green room and he goes, have you ever seen Jessica at work? I said, no. And he goes, you're going to have a very long weekend. I went, huh? And you know, in your head as a guy, you're like, I can follow anyone. And I definitely can follow a chick. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go out and I watch her to a very small audience, maybe 150 people, 75 people. I don't remember this at all. Destroy. Oh, she's a killer. To destroy to a place where I am panicking going, how the fuck do I get out of this? Like, I gotta bring. I gotta really? bring in. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even. It's you don't very. This? No. Wow. No. I Bull. blocked everything out. And, and you, would, <laughs> you, would, you would come in. You would do like on on. You do your set and then you bounce. You go do other sets and yeah. come back. And I was like, and here I am doing an hour, and just going like I want to be in her spot where I just do the set, murder, right. bounce it's around, Right. It's so much easier back. to open. And, yeah. and you couldn't. And you wanted to fucking hate her. You wanted her to be bitchy or something, but she right. was just sweet. <laughs> and you're like, fuck this. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah. We obviously know that the cellar and and the store the just two Hallmark comedy clubs. Mm -hmm. If you could close a comedy club right now, oh. <laughs> it just it just had to stop working. Like, you mean like you just get rid of it? Just, you get to go in. You get to go in and look at the Booker, look at the owner, and go. I'm sorry, this place is closed. You had a good run, but you guys aren't comedy club material, Jessica. Oh God, there's so many. <laughs> We still work the shit room. Yeah, I mean, them. I'm at Uncle Vinny's and oh, like, oh, God. 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 I'm at Bananas next weekend. I'm, I'm there, there too. You are? Yeah, I'm following your ass. Oh, God. I'm going to start cutting. It's really not easy. It's what, not. Can I tell you what I love? I love when you find out um, genetic anomalies in yeah, races. Me too. Where I you go, that. where you're like, wait, wait, most, most Asians are lactose intolerant? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like the Asians don't eat cheese at all, and they can't drink beer. I think they get turned red. <laughs> yeah, 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 really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Black yeah. people can fall asleep anywhere. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's a brand new stereotype I just put out, and I'm only judging that based on my plane flights recently. <laughs> Black men fall asleep so easy on a fucking plane. That's totally true. I'm like, how the fuck you fall asleep so easy? I'm taking Xanax and drinking. That's You're eating Ambien, and yeah. they're just like. Like, you walk on a plane, and it's like a Stephen <laughs> King novel. Black people just out. <laughs> I flew so next true. to Common one time. This is a true story, and I want this to get to Common. We were flying to sh from Chicago to L.A. I got on the plane, and I was like, oh, fuck, it's Common. I'm a big hip-hop fan. And I was like, I'm going to say something. So I sit down, kind of get my shit together. I look over to say something, and he's sound asleep. I mean, left the tarmac, right? Yeah. The worst flight I've ever been in my entire life. Right. Turbulence <laughs> up and down. We are moving. Common is out like someone <laughs> drugged him. Like Bill Cosby was his last meeting, right? Well, hey, hey, hey. Anyway, we land in L.A. I have drank nonstop. I've eaten half a Xanax. I wrote a goodbye letter to my family, put it into my jacket <laughs> pocket so they'd find it. We touch down. When the wheels hit the ground, he still doesn't wake up. We get to the gate. He wakes up, looks at me, goes, have we taken off? I went, are you kidding? I'm like, are you fucking kidding? Wow, Dude. you know what it is? is what? White people are scared of flying, but black people, that's the only place they feel safe. 
Because they that's can't get true. hurt on they a flight. Right. Shot. Yeah, <laughs> that's very people went through a metal detector, oh, you know. Fucking... There's something yeah, there. There's no cops. There's on the no plane. cops yeah, on the plane. Or, or, you know, rednecks. <laughs> Wait, so, you, so this is your impression of every black person getting on the plane? <sighs> exactly. <laughs> this is going to be a nice three I hours. I finally yeah. feel safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's no, yeah. a black guy on a cruise? Oh, oh, yeah. That's a different, uh, <laughs> that brings back a different feeling. I just read today on Twitter that Common was molested. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> no, it's true. I really just read that this morning. Everybody successful was molested. Oprah. Tyler Perry. Me. You. Yeah. you just brought this up this past week. You're yeah. like, I wish I had been molested. Molestation <laughs> leads to actually, success. That's actually rare that you haven't been molested. Maybe I blocked it out like your weekend with him. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, maybe uh, I have. I was running a half marathon with Jim Jim Florentine, and we're talking. <laughs> the, the premise of the joke is, you ever tell someone a story, and then halfway through the story, you realize you were molested? <laughs> 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 I, I was running a half marathon with Jim Florentine, <laughs> and he, oh, we were talking about how many concussions you've had. And I said, I had a bad one one That's time. That's amazing. He was like, how bad was it? And I said, they had to wake me up every like half an hour and check my genitals. And he was like, huh? And I was like, yeah, like priests would wake me up to make sure that I didn't, they check. and he goes, check your genitals. And I was like, yeah, right. And he goes, they definitely have, don't have to do that. Yeah. Like that has nothing to do with concussions. That's and I was amazing. like, I was like, really? And we're running a half marathon. And Jim goes, buddy, I think you were molested. And I went, no. And he went, how many times did they do that? I go like four or five times. He goes, he goes, listen That's to what you're so, saying. This you're is saying one of my favorite you stories. had a concussion so they had to check your genitals? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. I've heard of the smelling sauce, but not the ball <laughs> tap. <laughs> That's a new one. I, when I was on that podcast, guys, we fucked. I, they, yeah. I was telling them that I was date raped in college. <laughs> and I was, <laughs> I was talking all about it. And then we, there was a pause. And one of them goes, Jessica, you weren't date raped. You were raped. And I swear to God, we laughed for five minutes. <laughs> I'm like, you're totally right. He didn't take me on a date. I've been saying that to like soften <laughs> it. Like to try and soften it for myself for 20 years. I didn't years. date her. I didn't date her. I raped her, but I didn't, I'm not dating her. I'm like, he didn't take me out. Yeah. He literally just, but I, I fantasized about it like a oh. bunch of times, so it's okay. Oh. Wait, when well, you were dating dudes? No, aren't you a I big was... old snatch snuggler? <laughs> yeah. You like the, the gash, amazing. the hatchet no, one. Uh... <laughs> You're a fan of the slit, the skirt, the trim. <laughs> Oh my God, this is too early for Oh, that. sorry. No, I you actually- You last night? No. <laughs> I'm coughing like I smoked pot. Oh did, yeah, yeah, did, fuck yeah. Did yeah. I smoke pot last night? Oh, I'm coughing like I'm coughing up pot right now. I'm like, what the Does fuck? Does anyone know if I did anal last night? <laughs> I still remember, I'm a little sore. <laughs> I, um, I've been with a lot of guys too. I actually oh, okay. don't mind having sex with men, because I like, especially giving head, because I'm an eater. <laughs> so I like that, I'm being serious, I like that feeling of, like, <laughs> In my throat. Really? Yeah, I just don't like the semen. Like I don't. I, I see. I don't like glue. Yeah. Yeah. So um, <laughs> glue. No, I've been with guy. I just could never fall in love with a guy. That's oh, really the truth. Wait a minute. I get that. Yeah, yeah I understand <laughs> that. I would love to date a, a lesbo. Really? Yeah. Well, we we could talk about other women, and you know, right. she could peg me. Yeah, you could probably both be with other women. It's, it is a good situation. <laughs> I yeah. Dropped on the floor, and no one picked it up. <laughs> she could peg me. <laughs> I slipped it in. So did you? Um, you guys like eggs? One of my favorite, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm making a dish today called... Mark and I have the worst um, posture. We're both like... I know. <laughs> yeah, we like eggs. <laughs> I feel like, like I'm in trouble. Me too, I'm like in the whole, I feel like this whole show I've been doing this, I've been leaning forward, <laughs> yeah. and it's just a bad look for me. We're making shaksuka. Oh, nice. Did I say it right? Did I say it right? This is something I get in the diner and I always regret it. What Every time I get it. I've never even heard of it's, it. It's a wacky dish. It's, can I tell you the first time I ever saw this, it was on Jamie Oliver's cooking show. It was maybe, it, it is, I'm, I know that I, my cooking show is not that kind of cooking show, but it's the thing that inspired me to cook. Jamie Oliver had an episode where he came back in his Range Rover to his country townhouse, like out in the, out in the not in the city, but out, out in the, and like they had all been partying at some club, but they drove 30 minutes outside the London to go to his little townhouse, his little like country house. He had his girlfriend and like three of her friends, they're all models, and one of his buddies. And he goes, all right, I'm gonna make you guys uh, Bellinis or something, you guys sit, I'm gonna go make breakfast. And he goes in and he makes a version of this dish. And there was something to that, the way he sold it, that like I felt like, do you remember? I used to look at, I said, do you remember? When, when I was a kid, I'd look at the swimsuit edition <laughs> Is this getting, is this becoming long-winded? So we I need a timer kid. for your story, so a little kitchen timer. 
We're making shakshuka. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. I need help cutting. Can you guys cut? Sure. Oh no, that's gonna make us yeah, cry. I mean, yeah. You've already cried today. I know. I was just gonna say it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's gonna make us cry again. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, can you can you cut? Yeah. All right. We need to. Mark. <clears throat> If you want me to do it, I'll do it. But it's okay. I mean, you could cut something else. You're a cutter. Okay, you're making me nervous with your cutting already. Why? I don't know. It's just. It seems like. I can... Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, I'll right. do it. I, I love cutting. I know, cause I always had a housekeeper. Are you serious? What? Yeah. Wait, did you grow up with money? Yeah. But For I real? Did, yeah, I mean, I wish that I did. I wish my mother was around. But yes, I did have a nanny my whole life. Oh, or so a housekeeper. I had Are you a nanny serious? Well. You did? I had so a, he did too. A transvestite nanny. What? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. His name I was didn't Enos, know. and he wore high heels. His name heels. was Enos? Enos. Big black guy. Uh, Are you kidding me? I swear to God, he That's took amazing. care of us because my parents were never home. Me either. <laughs> Yeah. Where were your parents, Jessica? My mom was a therapist and she was helping everyone else. And my dad was mm. a business guy. Yeah, and they were just, both worked a lot. Yeah, same. But we lived in a big house, everything looked good, you know. Same, same, that's big house, so mansion. I'm, I'm interested, like that your parents hired, that's amazing, yeah, at oh, that yeah. time. Oh, my parents are the most liberal, to a fault. Like really? We, I grew up in a horrible neighborhood and got robbed all the time, but they were like, they need it. Oh, that's it. My, my mother would give my housekeeper my clothes that I still wore. <laughs> yes, I'd yes. walk in, I'd be like, I was going to wear that shirt tomorrow. Right. Why is she wearing my fucking shirt? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. same. I get my bike stolen, I'd go, we'll get you another bike. They yeah. Give them the bike. Yeah, they needed it. We yeah. can't, we can't, you can't say the word maid in our house. Oh my God, yeah, really? Yeah, my daughters are fucking losing them. I said, that's not a maid, it's Sylvia. And I went, well, yeah, she cleans our like, house and she, they go, yeah, yeah but don't. Who do you think, you know, you don't have a maid, Dad. That's Sylvia. She comes over once a week. It's Sylvia. And I was like... But she is a maid. I hate the change of the word. It doesn't do anything for the people. Right. My That's grandmother would call her the girl. <clears throat> oh, the girl's That's tough. the best. The girl's coming on Tuesday. The girl. <laughs> like the girl's that. coming. In Russia, they call it Dabushka. Oh. The girl. You yeah. Guys, when you want something at a, at a restaurant, you go, girl. Yeah, it sounds like my family country club that I grew up in. Oh, wow. She, my grandma would be like, where's the hell? She would yeah. just scream out all these things. Oh, did you grow up like, like, where did you grow up in the city? In South Orange, New Jersey. Really? Mm. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great area. Yeah? Very, all different kinds of people. Oh, yeah, New Jersey. It's awesome, yeah. Did, uh... No anti-Semitism? A lot of Jews. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, yes. <laughs> Yeah, my rabbi was horrific. Oh, God. He'd be you're... like, good morning, kikes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, no, no, you're lying, that's, you're that's, lying. A, that's a great morning show, by the way. Good morning, kikes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever realize you've been giving oral sex wrong your entire life? Uh, no. I still haven't realized 36, No, I'm actually really good years. at it. I'm good at it now. Yeah. I kind of want to do it to someone else just to see if I'm good at it or if my wife's just been placating me. Yeah. Can you teach me? Because yes. you're a pro. Yeah. All right, let's do a lesson. This okay. is a great little side. Yeah, this is a great little this is a great little clip for Instagram. Let's get yeah. a pork bun in here. You can really get <laughs> physical. A pork bun. Something with a little fold, you know? Well, it looks like a vagina. Oh, and maybe a smack cereal that or a knife? taco. Oh yeah, honey smacks. What are yeah. they called? Those do look like mini, yeah, like a little, mini a little person. Yeah. This is my. This Gash. is my. This is Gash my. Gash is amazing. Uh, Gash is underrated. This is my my in, my insight for oral sex. Uh, gentle chaos. Mmm, good bang. That makes. That makes. Yeah. Gentle that makes chaos. Sense. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So you just go down there and you go. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might switch now. That was really amazing what you just did. Sorry. What do you do? What do you do? Because you know the equipment. So you must have uh, uh, some good insight. Yeah, You're I do. You're not just some guy working you know, on fighter jets. You own a fighter jet yes. and you're working on your own. Exactly. You know what I used to wear, which I was telling... It's um, more of a I, canoe. I was... <laughs> I don't remember where I was saying this, but do you guys know? Oh, I was on Big J's uh, podcast with Dan Soder, and Bonfire. I used to wear a chin strap. Have you ever seen Whoa. that? Whoa! It's you wear amazing. A chin strap during sex. sex. Well, uh, yeah, when years ago, like I used to, you put the, it, the strap, the dick comes out of you, off your chin, and then you you go down on a woman, and the dick, it's amazing. It's called a Leno. Yeah, I wore it to <laughs> Temple, and it was a very big problem. But I, <laughs> um, no, it's it was it's an incredible. Oh. Yep, we start with the onions wow. and the red pepper, Kinstra. and we're gonna let them brown. Is that red pepper? That is red pepper. Do you oh. have a problem with acid reflux? No, 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 I thought Ooh. it was a hot pepper. 
It is a hot pepper. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, because red pepper I thought was big, like Yeah, I thought pepper. so too. I, I, you know, I can't really understand the directions. It said red pepper. I didn't well, see one here, so I cut that one because it's red, and I was like, I think that's what they I meant. think it's very spicy. Yeah. Ooh, so when it's is hot it? in here. Yeah, I shouldn't have eaten it. Do you want to use a, a spoon? <clears throat> I'll use my tongue. <laughs> so wait, when was the first time you hooked up with a chick? Oh, it's a great story. Yeah, this is an this is a real it's like a porn. I was in a Jewish sorority at the University of Maryland. Gross. And I was a senior. Was it Kappa Kappa Jew? <laughs> <laughs> Kappa Kappa Ugh. Oh. <laughs> 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 and I was a senior, and this girl walked in who was a freshman, and I had never been with another girl, and we just, like, that was it. Whoa. Really? Isn't that crazy? I was like, I'm a, something about her. And then we spent, like, six months just sitting in a, in a this sounds so crazy, in a car, just, like, staring at each other, not even talking. Mm. Like, See, we were falling in love. See, that's what scares me about homosexuality, but... is that it'll catch, it'll come over me one day, and I it won't just, be able to stop, and yeah. I'll be like... What is up with this guy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's exactly what And then me and Amber just staring at each other in a car. I'm like, you feel this dude? And he's like, I think we're gay. Uh, <laughs> so we had a secret thing. And we went home for Christmas break, and then we drank a lot of wine and smoked pot. We were in my, my house, oh, in my room, and we started wrestling. Wow. It's really hot. By the way, by the way. And she, she was hot. She, really? she was my first part. Yeah, she was my first girlfriend. Wow. For years. So is scissoring real? Yeah, but not like, not, people don't do it a lot mm -hmm. at it's, all. It's like Thanksgiving or a holiday. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, <laughs> you don't do it every night. If it's someone's it's birthday, like you'll see Like no one, just, yeah, who 69s all the time? I mean. I used to love it. Really? I, I, I never love it. loved it. It was cup, too much going on. Cup I on did. the neck. <laughs> you gotta lean up to hit the bed. It's a whole thing. Yeah, so we were wrestling, and then we just started wrestling, wrestling, and we just kissed. It was Whoa. crazy. It was hot. Can I tell you And right then we now, both freaked out. One of my first jokes in the first set I ever did that got me my first deal, the first Caroline set, was something about, uh, something about lesbians. And I was like, you think it's going to be all hot and sexy? Like, you walk in, and they're wrestling in sports bras. Like, yeah. I got you, you little bitch. I got you. No, I got you. I go, huh? And, and, and these lesbians came up, and they're like, that's exactly what it's like. That's what like, happened. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was like, shut up. And they're like, that's why we like you, that one joke. That's a great joke. And I was like, okay. You know that's what? so funny. That's how it happened. Yeah, it's exactly, it was the first time. Every girl I've ever dated, I always say, do you watch porn? They always say, yeah, but I only watch girl on girl. Which is so interesting. Every straight girl. A lot of straight women. Love girl on girl. Yeah, they do. It's, you know, it's fascinating to me, because they're all curious. Most of them mm -hmm. are curious. Well, I'm not they, curious at all. What? I don't think I have any curiosity about uh, my sexuality. Like, I'm not like... No, a lot of women, straight women, are yes. very curious about my lifestyle. What percentage of women do you think could be... A uh, lot. Could be both ways. Yeah. A lot. Well, women are so physically way hotter than men. So you're just seeing yeah. beautiful women all the time as a woman. But I've been with straight women and it's a nightmare. <laughs> Because oh, they really? don't get emotionally attached, and then they're still straight, you know. Like, they're mm. curious, but they're straight. Mm. So it, then you get attached, and they end up wanting dick. Oh, interesting. That's You know, number, if you want dick, you want dick. Number 100, yeah. I don't want to be gay. I would hate to be fucking emotionally attached to some dude who just fucking <laughs> toyed with me. Uh, like, yeah. oh, it's bad enough when a woman does it. I, can't like, I don't have feelings for you, Bert. Bro, I fucked you in the ass. Get over it. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. You're acting weird as fuck. It doesn't mean we're married now. Yeah, if I call you and you suck my dick, you suck my dick, all right? That's what it is. It is what it is. It's like fucking, do I sit and get a pizza and then go, how come I, how come I want to be? I don't know. I'm supposed to cross these with my hands. Why? I just want you to know I wash my hands after the blood, okay? Oh my God, I'm, I'm really going to be sick. It's okay, I, I have to block it out like the rape. You just rub. <laughs> do you have cuts? No, I'm fine. Oh. I just washed my hands and I took a shower. We're totally fine. I wash my hands aggressively after. I saw you wash your This is the hand that's all the blood on it. <laughs> that's the hand. Wait, isn't soap. that the hand? On the... No, I have a cooking soap and I was bleeding at the beginning of it. <laughs> Jesus! I know where you're losing the fucking mind right now. Here, I just changed my tampon. Uh... <laughs> you were just. All right, well, don't slap and spit in there. Jesus, man. Oh, is it a fart? Please! <laughs> I just farted. I was laughing so hard. Oh, man. This 
This is oh. really <laughs> tempting, this meal. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. I just got to crush these my hands. Uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, right, this, come look on. at that. This looks like chum. <laughs> look at Mark's face. By the way, my hand's tired. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe you bled without even cutting any. It was you didn't even do anything. You yeah, were bleeding. You, didn't, you have lesions. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm fucking out of it. I'm gonna pass out. It is early you in the morning, by the way, for the people at home. It's like ten in the morning, which is rare <laughs> for a comic to be cooking. You just can't get your eyes off it. It's hand crushing. <laughs> it's so red and. Chewy. Put your hand up really quick. This is what women in Georgia are gonna have to do. Ah. <laughs> Wow. Oh. <laughs> I think that's good. I think we're good. Oh, I mean, uh, it's fucking paste I now. I think we got it. I think, think we got so? it. Yeah. Oh, God. Jesus, you look like a finger to gal at Lilith Fair. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. All right. Let's uh, pour that in there, will we? No, we gotta. There we go. Ooh, I... Oh, they're burnt. No, instead of brown, instead of brown, instead of brown. Brown. <laughs> shut up, Jessica. <laughs> you're not gonna notice. Dude, I'm gonna small shit. Percent. I'm gonna shit my brains. <laughs> <laughs> this is small You're spitting oh. all over the food. I mean, oh. Jesus. <laughs> we need a sneeze guard here. God, I need a fucking doctor or a Gallagher tarp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Half the onions are burnt. Yeah. <laughs> there are some black ones in there. Black? Oh, yeah. <laughs> African American. Um, by the way, this feels like our parents went out of town. We're four eight year olds trying to make it work. I love that you just said oh, four. Shit. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> well, he's Did big. You, so am I. There's, I there could be four here. Garlic. Is it garlic? Oh my god. Oh my god. Your hands. Oh, I really, I'm not kidding. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. There we go. All right. Shakzuka. That was in Black Panther, I Should think. you turn that down a little bit? No, no, it's going to be fine, Jessica. No, they're burnt. No, yeah. they're not burnt. It's not, Jessica, stop. You're supposed to cut the garlic. I know, I know, I know. I'm just getting the garlic in there because we're running late. I can't wait for your fingers we're to be inside this of this after this meal. Oh, you yeah. You're going to be shocked at how good this is. Jews can't be around garlic, right? No, it's bad. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> it, it makes our horns go away. <laughs> oh, there's, there was a... Aren't you supposed to cut garlic? Yeah, those are big hunks right <laughs> there. Sorry. Here you go. Yeah. You guys are the best. <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> Fucking judgy. Wow. Oh, my God. What is going on? the garlic! You gotta chop the fucking garlic! What are we camping? This is getting out of hand. <laughs> yeah, look, this is knife. looking good. Right. I would turn down the heat a little. No, it, because it, it, it's things fucking doesn't there work. There are chunks of garlic yeah. in there. Yeah, there. there, there. Oh. Now it's not burnt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like, um, what's his face? Oh my God. Um, what's that guy's name? Oh, is, that a, is that an animal? Oh. It's like Flavor Flav. Uh, paprika and cumin. <laughs> Flavor is this cumin? Flavor. How much? I haven't heard that name in a long time. Trying to bring it back. What <laughs> was that? Horrible. Cumin. Charred. Jesus. What? What is that? Is that cinnamon? Oh my god. This is cumin, I think. <laughs> put the top back on. What do you on. mean, you think? Because you need the uh, the holes. No. Oh, Don't put no. it all in. Oh, no. <laughs> put the top on it. You need the holes. There, I got it. I got it. How much did it say? Half oh. a tablespoon of paprika oh, we got a and two here. teaspoons. I know you. That's this is, that's a cup. That's, that's not a cup. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm not uh, eating. You don't even know how much you just put in. No, You're trying to bad. make this bad. Okay, I'm not that, making it bad. That it's was a fucking... sandcastle. Have we done it? Who didn't open all these goddamn spices? Jesus, we're off the rails. What was that thing? Oh! <laughs> this is worse than Paula Dean. <laughs> That's too much. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Easy there. All right, we got it, we got it. If you think I'm eating that, you are, and you're gonna love it. You're, I, gonna, you're gonna say to yourself, "There's no God way." Damn it, that's actually good, Bert. I can't believe this. I'm as good as it is. Now, this is like if Emerald had a breakdown. <laughs> yeah, like a mental. Like yeah. He, yeah. And we got to see it. You just want to go. You want to come in. Tomato. Do you know? See, people don't know this, but that smell is so intense right now oh, from yeah. that cumin. It's it is. Heavy. It's. Oh, this! But look how much tomato we put in. 
so sloppy. So you're gonna love it. It's gonna reduce a little bit. I feel unsafe. Yeah. You're gonna love this. You are going no, to. No, I'm really not. I mean, I love you, but. Yeah. This smells fucking good. No. This, this smells so fucking good. This looks good. like what they suck out of a fat actress. <laughs> <laughs> a fatress. A fatress. There you go. But she's brave. Oh. My fucking hands are so bloated from last night. I want to drink so bad right now. It'd be nice to have Should a I, beer. One beer? One beer. I love a be beer. Bad. I wouldn't mind a beer, Rachel. One a beer. beer. Beer? I'd love some Tums. <laughs> oh. Can I tell you what they didn't have in Europe is uh, fucking... Antacid? Yes. Are you kidding? And I was had heartburn the entire fucking time. I was like throwing up in my mouth. Here, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, thanks. Learned this in Russia from Igor. Yeah. Did you just open that with your balls? Or I could have just used this. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You want one? No, I'd love a water or something. Uh, Did you yes. just say water? No, I didn't see water. I'm from Jersey. I know, water. I heard water. Thank you so much. Should I take the label off? No, no, they sponsor us. Thank you, Poland Springs. Really? Yeah. Wow. Look at this, it's reducing nicely. That cumin is so strong. It's, you're gonna, yeah. uh, you're, that's why you do that much. I feel like I'm in prison in India. What happened to the eggs? They're coming. They're oh coming. my right. God, you're putting They're eggs cumin. in there? What, yeah, we put eggs in here. What we do is we make a little well, we put an egg in there, and then we, sp and it's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. This is honestly and then like I'll getting some a feta on This top. is yeah. really bad. This is diarrhea like. This is going to be good. I need you guys. What the oh. hell is that? Oh my god! I have it's no fucking soup. idea. It, honestly, Wait, the hands thing is. This is feta, and this is the gooey, oily water on top. Mm. Man. Are they all like this? I've never watched the show. Do you think people... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Are they all like that? Oh. Do you think people in starving countries watch this show? Why well, you... I wouldn't even eat that. <laughs> Why are you adding a mattress? <laughs> <laughs> We're also sponsored by Casper. <laughs> this is going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous. Mm. You'll see. You're, I, it's, I wish people could smell what's happening. It smells it, great. Fed is delicious. Ooh. Is this cilantro? <sighs> yeah. That's a scallion. Do you, by the way, scallions, green onions, I call them, are the most, uh, that's the one fruit that people fruit? get sick from the most. Why? Um, Did you just say fruit? <laughs> let's take it from the top. <laughs> scallions. That was an insult to you, scallions. Big, big Liz. Scallions are the ones that <laughs> big eat. Big <laughs> Scallions are... Oh, because they're so dirty. Yep. They but come out of the ground. why'd you say fruit? I was, I, I was, you're confusing me. Ah, <laughs> oh, good, Oh nice. my God, I'm no. having nice. horrible anxiety from no. that sound. I'm just getting, I'm, what I'm doing it is Sounds like to... me munching my wife's puss last night. Uh, are you married? Uh, yeah. For real? Yeah. You guys can do that? Yeah, I mean, we, we're, we become friends, but yeah, we used to do that. Mm -hmm. Dude, when, how often do you have sex? Um, we we make it an effort. Like we do have sex. We because you have to you have to do it. You gotta. Yeah, but make you're two women, and I, my wife is going through meta, perimenopause, and you, she just her, her, yeah, it's like yeah, me too. It. It's very oh. hard. It's and it's like a lot of emotion, but it's she's not. Sex isn't the first thing on her menu. No, me either. Yeah. Harry, man, sounds like I'm, a pilot. Perimenopause here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hello, this is perimenopause. Hey, boys. <laughs> Uh, wait, yeah, so it's hard. You, you it's guys hard are when you're yeah. struggling. But you got to, No, I mean, I think you know when you've been together for years, it's not easy. I, I, yeah. For not everyone, but for a lot of people, it's not easy. My parents say you should have sex once a week. It just keeps everything together. Yeah, Even you're if you don't supposed want to, to. Just do it. They had sex with you once a week. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to get out. I moved here. Mark, I keep so funny. My parents <laughs> fucked me once a week, <laughs> and oh. it's how we became close. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be fucking amazing. Big talk. For who? You're gonna, I'm telling you, just No, it. Bert, I love you to if death. You, if you could question your sexuality at a very young age, just based off of a look, then take a chance, keep that open-mindedness on this dish. Ooh. I am open, I am open, but. Anyone who's gay is very open. That's, that's if a really interesting statement. Gayest experience you've ever had in your life? I got jerked off on a bus. <laughs> I did not know it was wow. gonna go there. I also got blown by a guy once in Mexico. Uh, I guess let's, was, let's start with a bus. 
<laughs> and let's get our way down to Mexico. Yeah, the, the Mexico, a, the bus who cares. Well, no, how did it goof. happen on the I was bus? on a, one, like a party bus in high school, and yeah. I was getting a BJ for my date, and my friend went up and went, hey! And then really? Ran, yeah, it was just, just dudes being Wow. Um, but that was nothing. That was just two stroke, you know? Like, yeah. Like a moped. And then, uh, the Mexico, all my friends were getting hookers, and I was too scared, so I said, I'll just get a BJ. So I went into this bar, mm -hmm. and uh, it was 20 bucks, and the lady wouldn't let me hold her head. She was like, don't touch my head, and I had to grab her boobs, and her boobs were rock hard. And then she was great at it, calmed them on, came in like two seconds, I left, and I uh, walked out, and all my friends were standing on the sidewalk. They're like, you weren't in there, were you? And I was like, oh yeah. And they're like, that's, uh, that's dudes. And they all hit the floor laughing. Aww. My wife won't let me hold her head during a blowjob. She won't get it on her knees. My wife will not oh. get it on her knees. Mine like, will. hot. And I get blowjobs. Yeah. That's hot, isn't it? I do. That it's is just hot. the action of it and the seeing it is very hot to oh, me. Oh, yeah. Even though it's not, I can't, it's not attached to me. I mean, it's attached, but it's not. See, the problem is I'm physically. very visual sexually. Like, That's I what like, I'm saying. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, Jesus. I like, to, I like to see things, and yeah. my wife's like, look at me. I go, yeah, but I kind of want to, like, Oh, she wants to look you in the eye. You yeah, she to... wants to be connected. Like, that's why we can't do reverse cowgirl. I made a joke about it in one of my specials. Because <laughs> I said, let's do reverse cowgirl. She was like, what's that? And I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I've never what's seen the that? Part. I go, well, I've never seen the part of the porn where the guy describes it to her. Right. Like, I go, turn around. But it was so funny in the moment because it was so real. And like, yeah, I, I go, it. turn around. And she goes, and face the wall? And I was like, yeah. She's like, what am I supposed to look at? And I was like, I don't fucking know. She's what like, what are you going to look at? My butthole? And I was like, yes. you're making this not sexy at all. I was like, look at the wall. And then the whole time, That's she's, hot. she's just holding on to my ankles. Going, I, I feel very disconnected. I feel very disconnected. Oh, God. Disconnected is good. That's the only way to do it. Yes. And I like a butthole shot. And put a, put a plasma up on the wall for it. <laughs> <laughs> One, uh... Put on Schindler's list. <laughs> there was, <laughs> there was I gotta put salt in this, I'm sure. Easy. Oh, we already oh. got a ton of cum in there. <laughs> and uh, the other oh. one. Wow. This is gonna, what are you wowing? I'm gonna have a heart attack and shit at the same time. <laughs> I think that's how it works. I think when you have a heart attack, you Do you, you shit, shit when you have a heart attack? Uh -huh. Oh, no. no. Really? No one tells you that. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's a problem. I'm a big fan of the, the labia as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you go downtown on the, on the, the rag? Probably a bad dish to be making where we are answer this question. You mean like the um, flaps? Period. Oh, um, on the on the you know flow. Oh, I have many times. Okay. Yeah. You just stay up up. Yes. Up deck. You stay on. Yeah. You stay on the clit. All right. Yeah. I always wonder. And then you just go in the ass. Hold on. I'm sorry. Wait. What? what? Yeah. Eating it or pegging it. <laughs> Or fingering? Fingering it. Whoa! Oh, cannot finger my wife's asshole. Once again, <laughs> way too, way too descriptive when she's there. That's you, the name of his new. Are special. you trying to finger my asshole? Are you, finger, you wanna, are you trying to finger my asshole? And I'm like, I don't know. Or is that? Are you saying not to do it? Or are you just? I'm just asking. Are you trying to finger my asshole? And I'm like, no. I don't. Well, there's a lot of explaining why you're doing it. Uh, that does brutal. take away. That really takes away from it. I agree. I don't eat shells, by the way. Don't worry. You eat ass and not shells. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. Unless there's shells in the ass, then I don't need it. <laughs> Just to expedite things, and I want the eggs to be perfect, I'm gonna put four <laughs> eggs in this. I'm gonna put them each in these. Is that what it says on the recipe, little... though? Yep. Okay. So Wait, Mom, I'm not eating a raw egg, right? No, yeah, this is raw eggs. Have you ever had a raw egg? I'm not eating a raw you're not, egg. You're not eating a raw egg. She's had an ovary. <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten period, but not raw. <laughs> I have, um, I did a drinking show one time, and they made me a beer with a raw egg in it. Mm. Oh. Oh, God. Sure. There's nothing more heartbreaking than cracking an egg in a yolk. That miss. Did you just miss the garbage? I did. Okay. These are nice little ramekins. Oh, my God! <laughs> that one went out the window. Wow. Uh, all right, so now what we do is we create these little wells inside. Wells? As, yep, little wells. Oh, fun. I can't, I don't know if it's gonna, I'm gonna be able to do this. Yeah, you are. There's something hanging from the spatula. Oh, Where? boy. That's a oh, little, oh, little spurt oh, oh. Just an onion. <laughs> is that a hair? It's an onion. <laughs> it's an onion. I have to shave. <laughs> How would have you even gotten in there? Yeah, good point. All right. We got I want to explain in. this is a lot. Like, it's a lot to eat in the morning. 
Yeah, like, right? This yeah, this is, seems like a late night dish, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, anything what, but the morning. What origin is this? Is this Russian? Uh, Middle Eastern? I'm gonna say Shushaka. I don't say... I think it's ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> the ISIS cafe. Okay, here we go. Let's like do that. I feel like we should do one more egg right in the dead center, huh? It's not like this. Oh, this is, this is good stuff. Uh, oh. You gonna let this cook? Let this really cook. Cooking. They're not yet. I the know. Eggs, I know. I'm a little shocked by that too. It's there's not Shock nothing shock. about it has been cooked. Like the eggs have not even changed. No, this you'll is see, you'll see. City. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. What about the feather? You ever heard of the boy who cried wolf? Sure. That's kind of what's going on. The eggs still haven't cooked. It's okay. I'm gonna go pick up the eggs on the floor. No, 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 no. no. We got it's that. okay. Oh, this isn't your set at a comedy club. You don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, how long have you been doing stand up? 20 years. I'm 20 years this month. <clears throat> hey, There's all right. so much stuff on the floor. Oh my God. 20 years. Oh. Ooh, they're starting to cook up pretty nicely. Are they? Yeah, I think you're going to be I already pretty feel like happy. I have to go. They look exactly the same. They're going to be pretty happy they with what I get you into. They literally have not cooked at all. They're going to be pretty happy with what I get you into. Something's with those eggs, because normally when you put eggs I know, I know. I, I'm seeing it too, Jessica. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is there no meat in this dish? No, it's vegetarian. Mm. So how long is it supposed to take for the eggs to cook? Like an hour or two? Uh, eyeball it. <laughs> What's gonna happen is the, the, the red shit's gonna fry and the eggs will be raw. The red <laughs> shit. You guys are gonna be shocked with how good this is. I don't know, I always regret it at the diner. Look at this. Oh, that one's turning white a little yep, bit. Yep, yep, it's starting to steam it up really nice. Thank God for the lid, that's my beer. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, uh, Mark, mm. Mark and I just got done touring through Europe. If you could risk spray, if you could t explain to Jessica if you what, can't explain <laughs> one thing. If you had to say that touring with me was like a movie, what movie would it be like? Oh, God, Apocalypse Now. Because, uh, you know, at some point you're just on the bed watching that ceiling fan go, he's like Brando, half his, his shirt's off, half his face is painted, and he's just gone crazy. I mean, two weeks in, it was... He's like a celebrity from the 70s. He'll eat whatever he wants, he drinks what he wants, he yells at women, it's great. <laughs> he yells he at yell, women? What do you yell at women? I don't no, yell at women. Women. <laughs> That was just the third part of that joke. Yeah, I just need a, a rule of three. He's like a celebrity from the 70s. But he you are. He eats whatever he wants, he does whatever he wants, and he makes fun of Native Americans obsessively. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, not so not bad. bad. I gotta kind of cook a little bit. <sighs> But yeah, great trip. I wouldn't. Uh, How long were you guys there for? Two weeks. Two weeks. Wow. I think it was. It was a blast. Did you have any nights off? We had two nights off, I think. Wow. Total. Did we? Copenhagen, we had two. Oh yeah, we yeah we had two nights in Copenhagen. One we had one full day off, which was amazing. Oh, a dream. It was one of the better days I've had. We went Is to it, was it club. just the two of you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we had a cameraman and a, a tour manager. That's great. It was awesome. <clears throat> it really yeah. was. What was your favorite city, Mark? Copenhagen was great. Yeah. Antwerp was pretty. Uh, Amsterdam, though, you just can't beat it. Oh, it's, it's incredible. Can't beat it. If you had to move to one country and live the rest of your life there, you can't do stand up. You just got to get a regular old job making pickles. Making pickles? Well, I don't know. Just like something. Just like that something. would work well. What city could, um, would you move to? We asked this to Mark. Okay, but it's got to be. Europe. I might go to Switzerland. Oh. oh Switzerland. It's one of. I, I, I I was on a train once in Switzerland and I was crying. That's how beautiful it was. Wow, and Jews for me, cry it on trains. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I didn't know where it was heading. Oh, this so is really good. Little, 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 it's okay. Good. At least um, it wasn't a ditch. Right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, I, I was like looking out and there was a green lake and yeah. mountains and I, I was so overwhelmed. It's so not like me, but it was so overwhelming. Yeah. But I, I couldn't even believe it. I hear Switzerland's a little boring. After like, you see the beauty, there's not right. there's much to do. Where would you move to? I, I mean, I, I'm a cunt, but I'd say I like Paris. Yeah, I like Paris too. I love Paris. Except they're not, the Jew thing there is not great. Is that right? Yeah, most of them moved to Israel. Ah. Most yeah. of the Parisians or most of the Jews? Most of the Jews. There's not a lot of Jews in Europe at no. all. No, well, no. We found out <laughs> They took about six million of us and... <laughs> That's why. That's not real. Oh. <laughs> That's not real. I would have gotten great art. <laughs> anyway, um, 
Yeah, uh, there aren't a lot anymore. That's no, very true. We were, well, one of the things that blew us away, I mean, this is, by the way, I was obsessed with this, and I still am a little obsessed with this. Our tour manager was German. Yeah. And she was like, she was like, oh, we're so apologetic for the Holocaust and for what we've done. Oh, and I was God. like, how do you interact with your Jewish friends? And she's like, <laughs> she's like, I've, I've never met a Jewish person. I'm like, what? <laughs> She, yeah. And we're like, shut the fuck up. How can you? And she's like, yeah, they're not here. I mean, I hear they were horrible. <laughs> oh she didn't say that. I made that part up. Yeah, but she's she, like, well, I never saw someone wearing a yellow star, so I don't know <laughs> how I would have met one. Yeah, but it's, it's interesting that Germany is so apologetic, but there just aren't Jews there also. I would no. assume most would want to get the fuck out as soon as they can. Jews or Germans? Jews. But you would yeah. think a lot of history. they want to be there with all the guilt. They would yeah. treat you like That's a actually royalty. very true. Like I might move blacks. there. Maybe I'll move there. And just bring it up nonstop. Yeah, every yes. set. Hey, everyone, you killed my family. Oh, Please you... buy a DVD. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually a brilliant That's idea. A great way to sell merch. Hey, guys, <laughs> thanks for coming out. Did I mention I'm Jewish? <laughs> so do you feel guilty at all about anything I've said or you that your family me. did? Yeah. I've got t shirts for sale. That's Jess with an SS. There's shirts that say, I'm one of the good Germans. <laughs> so you want to get one. I'm still afraid of the cumin and the paprika, but I'm um, take a look at the these. chubby fingers. Take them off. Ooh. My poor wedding ring. It's still on? Yeah, barely. It's, it's cutting the circulation. Oh, oh boy. It looks a little runny. Is it, no. Do you like your eggs hard or runny? I think right now I'd rather them be hard. But I think these are done. Never heard you say that. <laughs> I think these are pretty much almost kind of done. No, no. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna you, sample one. Do you follow the Jewish uh, diet stuff? No. So you eat no, pork I and... fuck my face with bacon. <laughs> fuck my face. No, I've Shrimp. never. I wasn't brought up kosher. I mean, I had a bat mitzvah. Yeah. You know, I was brought up reformed, which yeah, is the that's lowest. A little longer. There's reform, conservative, orthodox, Hasidic, like it goes, uh -huh. I'm at the lowest. Got it. I'm very proud and I love, you know, my, like the traditions and all that, but I don't, I'm not a religion, I hate religion. Same. I hate it. Top five coolest Jews in Hollywood. Oh my God. Men, let's do men, don't do women. Larry David. And then we'll do top five. Yeah, hottest. Larry David for sure. Really? He's my hero. I think Adam Sandler. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's um, a cool Jew. Who else? Mel Gibson. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> Natalie Portman. <laughs> oh, she's... Natalie Portman's Jewish? First of oh, all, yeah. I met her. She is the most stunning person I've ever seen. Beautiful. Pro. I've never... She's stunning. And she yeah, went to Harvard. She did? I know a lot about it. I'm a big fan of Natalie Portman. She's not just... Uh, she's orthodox. She grew up orthodox. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Guys, I think these are done. Yeah. Are, I'm going to take a okay. look and just... Oh, yeah, they're done, they're done. You sure? I'm certain. That's a little... You don't have to serve me first, it's fine. No, here we go. I'm gonna give you this one, because I think this one is extra done. Well, you got a big hunk of tomato there, Jess. Well, here we go. and give you Bert's a blood. Extra. <laughs> give you a little extra mark. Thank you. Do we use utensils, or we just eat with our... Yeah, right? I'm gonna give the sec I'm gonna plate the second one just because I think it's gonna look I love that you said plate. Beautiful. I think this would be great with a meat. Just yeah. saying, for next time. What throw, kind of uh, meat do you think? I would throw some pulled pork in there or maybe like steak tips. Pulled pork would be good, I think. Yeah. Don't, oof. Boy, that's uh, really sticking to the pan. Huh? <laughs> I think you should turn the heat up. This is out of fucking hot. Switch it. Give yeah, where'd you get those pans, huh? The turn of the century? I've seen some, some winters. The hollow. Yeah. <laughs> I think the slaves had those. <laughs> Back on the uh, underground What railroad. slaves? <laughs> <laughs> look at this, look at this. Tell me that it doesn't look beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look beautiful. Well, that with the bread on the side looks good. Yeah, right? That's how you'd serve it if your friends weren't keto. Right. Here we go. Forks, everyone. Just get right in there. Oh, this is definitely I cooked. Don't... I'm a little... Oh, this looks fucking great. Oh, it actually smells pretty good. It actually smells great. Jesus Christ. I'll, I'll do the first bite and I'll tell I'll you what I'll do I anything think. for my career. <laughs> it's really hot. Just pretend this is Natalie Portman. <laughs> Just pretend like this is an asshole. <laughs> this is awesome. It's actually delicious. I love it. 
What the fuck did I tell you? It is. Mm. Can you believe it? It's very Great. good. It's fucking really good. You and you didn't even put oil in it or anything. Well, no. yes, you did. I what am I talking oil. about? Wait, I taste vodka. Oh, wait, that's your blood. <laughs> mm. <laughs> This is so fucking hot. I burnt my mouth so bad. This is great. Yeah. What were you, what caused you to bleed like that? I have no idea. You see it? It was just like a dry patch. This isn't uh, bad. Not bad. This is actually really good. It's like a chili almost. Yeah, yeah. it is. The egg is what sells it for me. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Is it spicy at all? A little bit. I can't tell. Could use a little more, I think. Why can't you tell? I, I, my, I broke my governor <laughs> with everything. Wait, what? You ever jerk off and your dick just gets soft? You're like, I guess, I guess we're not into this today. Yeah. It's me with food. Do you have a napkin or should I just use your Here. underwear? Oh, yeah, here's napkin, Scott. Thank, Thank you. you. It's not a bad breakfast, huh? Not bad. It is spicy for me. Mm. But it's very good. The bread is pretty fucking great bread, too. On this show, what do you think is the most impressive meal you've made where you, you even impressed yourself at the end of it? Hot chicken, Nashville hot chicken. Ah, I love hot chicken. I was blown away that the chicken was cooked, <laughs> and I was blown away that it tasted <laughs> like, a, like it sh hot chicken should taste. Uh, Wheeler Walker Jr. was on the episode. <laughs> he goes, I've never seen a cooking show where the chef was surprised it tastes good. <laughs> I think I have a scallion in my eye from you just uh, <laughs> He's a spitter. This is not bad at all. I wish I'd put more fucking eggs in there. Yeah. Well, who's gonna eat that other serving? Luckily we got your eggs in us. <laughs> um, I'd probably do that one too. This is really good. Really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Can I do more soup? Yeah, you can, Mark. <laughs> Wow. I love that kind of energy. If I have another scoop, can I open for you in Europe next time? <laughs> yes. Well, it looks like we're gonna finish the whole oh, meal, no. huh? There you go. Oh, it looks like, I'm sorry. Looks like we're at the end of this, huh? Whoa, look at that, huh? Look at it was still cooking. I know, I know. <laughs> can't fucking believe this is good. I mean, I just can't believe how good this is. Pretty good. A lot of onions. What do you think the worst thing is you ever made? Mm, uh, your kids? Fucking Nick, <laughs> Nick Swardson's meal. Nick Swardson's meal was gluten free, dairy free, uh, soy free, Ugh. meat free, citrus free. It was so bad. And what it, was it? Just like wood? It was supposed to be a pizza, but it never got hard, so it turned into a gruel. Oh. It was a cauliflower pizza crust that had too much water in it and it wouldn't crisp up. Oh. So we just scooped it up with a spoon and ate it with a spoon. It was so bad. It was the worst thing I've ever had. Um, that was probably the worst, easy. There's a couple of dishes I wouldn't mind going back and like taking the second chance at. Right. Yeah. Now that I know so much. I saw the bell burl. <sighs> yeah, I'm out of breath too. Is it this? I'm it's gonna, very like... spicy. <laughs> There's a lot of onions. <laughs> Is there a fire extinguisher here? It is spicy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's very good, but it's spicy. Oh, yeah. Do you think it's spicy? I like spicy, so yeah. I'm into it, but it is spicy. I remember when I was a kid, that's how they used to raise boys back then. My uncle cut off a slice of a hot uh, meat stick. Like, it was a pepperoni, but it was hot, hot. Yeah. And they go, Bert, try a bite. I'm gonna try to bite, and I was like, ha, ah, and they're like, men eat that, men eat oh, that. Oh, right. Eat it. Don't be a don't be a woman. Eat it and be a man. And I was like, Arr. don't be a woman. Wow. Amazing how many things were said to me as a kid that now were complete hate crimes. First time I remember. Oh, that's all. so true. I mean, the N word. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, what were you gonna say? First time I ever learned about gay dudes. One of my uncles had AIDS. Jesus. And it was a, it was a uncle by marriage. And I was like, and they explained, were explaining AIDS to me, and I was like, wait, what? Thank God he's not the one that touched you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and so, and then so my, one of my other uncles was like, yeah, two dudes fucking the butt, they die. Oh so my God. You're, you're not gay, are you? And I was like, oh, I hope not. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Wow. He's still a senator, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
By the way, I have nine uncles, eight uncles, and all of them are like, wait, which one was that? <laughs> <laughs> mm, fucking amazing. Pretty damn good. Sweating my what a, fucking ass off. Now, would you get a stomach ache from this and the beer and the whole thing? Or are no. you like, really? Yeah. It is spicy. You are sweating your ass it off is, right now. It is spicy. I don't even notice it. I get into it and then I'm like, ooh, it was spicy. I, like, I go so fast when I eat, I'm like a shark. Yeah, I don't even chew anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes my eyes went to my back of the head and I bite on the table, I get confused. Oh, yeah, Whoa, really there good. was food in that burp. Uh. Do you ever burp and the food goes up your nose? I literally need medication right now. <laughs> I'm sweating. You're sweating? Yeah, I think I got cancer. Mark's finishing his, huh? I'm loving it. Yeah, I think I hit a home run. Is this something you'd maybe make for your friends? I would make this. Yeah, maybe not as much. Do you taste the cumin? Yes. I don't think I've ever laughed harder on an episode of you guys. Oh, I smell pussy. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Man. Who do we get? Clams? Oh, don't make me laugh right now. It's really. Oh, uh, she's gonna shart. Uh, does anyone does anyone want yeah, my, I'll take my it. cumin stew? <laughs> oh, Cumin's not bad though, right? It was a good. It was I'm a good sorry. Rub. I'm really. It's a lot. It's a lot it's of spice. Cumin? It's a lot. Look at you sweating right now. I know, but that's because I'm fat. <laughs> not because of my meal. Wait, do an impression of me trying not to throw up at an airport bar. Oh man! <laughs> it's nine in the morning. We're in. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sweden. Pussy. <laughs> yeah. That just. When we're in Sweden, it's nine in the morning. You, you've already put two beers down at the airport bar, and we're talking to some random guy just shooting the shit. And uh, we're like, "Yeah, yeah, the uh, the kings can go all the way." The <laughs> kings can go all the way this year. <laughs> you kept it down. Does anyone have a piece of gum? Does anyone have a piece of gum? That's my go-to oh, move. Gosh. Yeah, that was that was nerve-wracking. I felt like your son. I don't know if this was the right food for a Jew. This is a, I don't know if this is the way to start a day. <laughs> you are not I'm okay, pouring right? sweat, my legs are sweating. This is not the way to start your day. You think this is like a, a late night meal. Oh, I should have worn a diaper. Yeah, this is, we all just burp. You didn't even let that one out. Where did it go? Wait. It's still in me. <laughs> oh, I thought it'd be louder, sorry. That part sounded like it was breaking into a house. <laughs> <laughs> sounded haunted. Oh my mm. God, I'm dying. Wait, when you're- I'm so hot. <laughs> I'm, I'm really laughing. I'm not... It is warm in here. I am really it not okay. It is hot. I think I have this. Oh, I no, still have the burner on. that was an extreme thing to eat in the morning for someone like me. I, it's yeah. a lot. What would you normally have in the morning? Like plain yogurt with some fruit. Like I eat pretty healthy now. That was a lot for uh, me. That was aggressive. It's, I just ate a miscarriage. <laughs> 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 Oh my God! Ooh. Tell sweat, me how you feel right now, sweat and is don't lie, off both me. of you. I think it's good. I, I mean, you I feel okay? I, feel, I, I got an iron stomach. Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm from New Orleans. We eat dog shit for lunch. <laughs> what about a, like an ice cream would be great? Just something to cool you down. You know? Yeah. You, you have a, a no dice. We got oh, we got Hagen dazs Butter pecan. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's German. <laughs> pecan. Hagen dazs Yeah. Are you not German? Yeah, I assume. Really? No, thank you. Come on. So you want to know what you should do? If I put one other this. thing in my mouth right now, put except this on for here an and get your spoon nice and hot. Oh. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, this is the This is a fat guy trick. Get your spoon nice and Oh, you're going to like this a lot. <laughs> Test it out on your cheek first. <laughs> You're going to like this a lot. Here, I'm going to get three spoons just in case there Jessica we changes go. her mind. I don't know if I want a hot spoon. Yeah, you do. I'm telling you, this is not a great thing for Jews. This Jews. is a great idea. I'm still sweating, you, and you are too. I'm sweating profusely. Yeah, it's really. Beer and ice cream is underrated too, by the way. Yeah. Good mix. How long do you think we heat these spoons up? An hour. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't brand me. As long as this is cold. Here, let's just go to tester. Because the ice cream's pretty hard. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's no. They're. Oh! Mark, you know what I didn't think? It's got to go in our mouth. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. I'm, it's burning. No, I don't want. Oh, they're barely even warm. <clears throat> God damn. This is. <laughs> it's not that hot. 
Did you Jeez. just have to test it for that yeah. long? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. I'm fucking dying. Is the spoon hot? It's no. That's not that bad. There is so much going on in my stomach right now. Oh, it's, you, and I'm not just saying it to be funny. I'm serious. Do you serious. want to go take a shit with the mic on? Oh my God, I really should. I've never done that. I took the biggest shit today. With I the mic on? I took two different types of shit. Already? One was a solid and then the end was like, oh, we got more, hold yeah, on. Yeah, I, like I love that. Like it was sweeping out the kitchen. No, I like that, yeah. <laughs> Like it threw the trash out. Right, like, Hold right. on, sweet, sweet, <laughs> the, sweet. The guy at the Apollo who yeah. hit you off stage. Sandman. Have you ever worked an all black club, Jessica? Yes. How did it go? Um, I imagine you'd murder there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did well, but I have to be careful about what I talk about. I mean, I just do. You can't. Well, like, what, well, like, I wouldn't do an impression of a black woman if I was at a black club. I bet they would like it. It's a whitey who gets upset usually. No, well, some black women get upset yeah, now you're right. and say, you know, you're doing it the wrong way. Oh I'm yeah, like, in Brooklyn you can't do an impression of a black Brooklyn, woman. In Brooklyn you can't do anything but talk about like an envelope. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can't literally. If, yeah, I, if right. I talk about anything, it's offensive. Yeah, yeah. Which has made me actually so much more offensive. Exactly. That's the problem. As a, per, down. As, an, as, a, as a doubly oppressed person, right. you should be able to talk about whatever the fuck oh, you want to yeah. talk about. Well, actually, I'm a woman. I'm, I'm triple gay. You're a triple right. Threat. And I'm Jewish, yeah. No, I'm so, I was telling Mark, even if I make fun of my own people, pe non Jews get upset. I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah, people suck. I'm making fun of my family, and you're not even Jewish, and you're getting upset? Like, what is going on? Yeah. It's yeah. a problem. It gives them a personality. He just, you know, I have a friend, I won't say his name, because I don't want him to get shit. He's a very popular comedian, and he got in trouble one Bruce time. Bruce Falange? What? <laughs> Bruce Falange. <laughs> and I said, I said, how you, how you doing with that? And he goes, who? I said, uh, you know, like people get upset. He goes, who are they? And I went, I, I don't know, people online. He goes, who? He says, is it you? And I went, no. He goes, is it anyone you know? I said, no. He goes, it's no one I know. I said, okay. And he goes, it's people online that just want to say shit. They just want to start shit. And if you ignore them, it goes away. And it went away. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I, said, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. But when other comics start doing it, you're like, what are we doing? Well, that's common now. It's, it's, I, think it's, I think it's comics that don't know how to do comedy. Those I are the assume. ones getting the most offended. Is the ones that don't know how to do comedy, can't write a joke, and it's so much easier to take a look at someone crushing and go, that's offensive. Right. We, should, yeah. we did the same thing when I was a comic. You'd be like, oh, of course, he's high energy. Oh, he's just a dick joke comic. Mm. Oh, he's just dirt. Like, you'd, you'd minimize the guys yeah. that were doing well, and right now I think that's what's happening with the... Uh, uber woke scene is that they go, uh, hey man, you might want to watch out what you, you're saying. You go eh, for you, my fans. I think my fans. Right. Uh, I mean, by the way, I am very cognizant of what I say. I try yeah. not to offend anybody. Yeah, you don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Uh -huh. I had an incredible thing happen. I did a benefit for Gilda's Club. Yeah. Oh, I just watched a documentary on Gilda Radner. Gosh, that, that's an amazing documentary. Yeah. Eating disorder. Yeah, major. You never fucking yep. knew that. Well, yeah. She used to be a fat kid. Yeah. Really? Oh, really obese. You have to watch that. It's really I like interesting. Gilda. Yeah. But I did a benefit. And I do I do an impression of an Asian woman, and uh, there was a drunk Asian woman in the audience, and I had a great set. And at the end of the set, she come, came up and stood next to me and goes, "You stop it! You're in front of everyone." This was a black tie event, and I was like, "No," I said, "I'm not leaving the stage, and I'm going to tell the joke." And I, and it was amazing. It was like a thing for Gilda, and she was trying to silence me and saying, "No, you get off." And I'm like, "Fuck you! I am not leaving. I'm not leaving the stage. You're you can stand here for an hour. Yeah. I don't care. I'm not. Yeah. I'm telling the joke. And if you don't like it, then she wasn't even a member of Gilda's club. She was someone's girlfriend, mm. and she was just upset. I said, "You need to work on loving yourself." Yeah. yeah. This has nothing to do with me. I think you don't like yourself. I think Gilda right. did Roseanne, Rosanna Dana. That's a character. I like, know. Rosanna, Rosanna Banner. I mean, I'm sure there's yeah. people. I mean, I, I forget. I read in the documentary of who that was based after, but it was like just. I'm sure that was offensive. There's, if you go back to history, there's so much shit that was was offensive, wasn't offensive then that is offensive now. I Everything. Just, I just wrote a joke with a an Asian woman in a black dude's accent. Yeah. In and it was a it's a great joke. Killing. But you can't. You, you got to give me the leeway to try stuff out. Yeah. How come it's offensive to do an Asian person's accent, but not a Swedish person's accent? Exactly, or an Italian. People go nuts on it. Hey, yo, oh, oh. That right, happens I all know, day long, true. and nobody cares. What's like, the difference? You can't pick and choose. It's yeah. gotta be all or nothing. I feel the same way. Is it, like, yeah, like, what is the... What also, is, that's so What entitled. are the rules, and where do they start, and where does it end? And you can do a gay guy's accent all day long. All day long, you'd be like, oh, honey. I know. And no one cares. I don't think they like it. Oh, for real? I don't think gay guys like it. Ooh, 
I mean, I'm saying keep doing it. It depends. Yeah. It depends on the game. Really yeah. It yeah. really yeah. does. It's a lot have a great sense of humor, but yeah. some are lesbians. I think are much more uptight than gay. Oh, hundred percent. I, I had a joke about. I get any time I do a show for all lesbians. There's so many of them are incredible, but there's normally one older butch lesbian yep. who's like, I was very offended Short by what haircut, you said. Short haircut, glasses. It, I always get it. I told a joke about lesbians this week. Was it this week and about? Where were we? Did we do an open mic or something in Europe? About, uh, I lived with two lesbians, and when they did coke, they would fight, like fist oh, fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that true? A hundred percent. They would beat the fuck out of each other. Holy shit. One night, shit. we saw Janine Garofalo, and we come home, they're doing coke, they start to fucking go at it, and it got to the point when it started breaking up the, the, the living room, and so I was like, hey, and I grabbed one of them, as soon as I put my hands on her, the girlfriend's like, get your fucking hands off her, and hits me. I grab that one, and she's like, don't you touch her. Now I'm fighting two <laughs> lesbians, right? And I don't know what the rules are hitting a woman, but I think you can hit a woman on coke. I'm not sure. <laughs> I throw one into one bedroom, shut the door. I'm holding the door yeah, shut. Yeah, they're on drugs, the right? This story ends with me crying. <laughs> <laughs> you broke my necklace. So <laughs> my grandmother gave me that necklace. I hate you both. I can't. I, um, that's incredible to me. These fight a lot. I just don't get uh, get upset. Like, it's so entitled to be that that woman after a show and just be like, that bothered me. I don't know. Even if it did bother you, even if it was fucked up, I could never do that. I mean, I grew up watching comedy. I and know. Like, the white guy does this. You know. And I was I as a kid, I was like, yeah, that kind of hurts my feelings. But I would never like write a letter or call in or be like, hey man, that kind of. I just don't. I don't understand that mentality. It's a crazy way to live. It's just, hard for me because the two groups, I'm, uh, you know, the Jewish people. Some of the more religious ones get very offended too. Yeah, and then the lesbians a lot of times get. Offended. It's like I'm I'm one of you. Like why are you I turning know. on me and I thinking know. that I'm doing something? Like I'm on your side. I, I had a joke. I had a joke <laughs> where I was I was doing. I wanted. I had a joke about my dad, right? That in my last special, and I wanted to do. I wanted to create a character for him. I wanted to make a voice for him so I could go to that and like that would be my dad character. I got off stage. And uh, and someone at the comedy store, I get off stage and they come up uh, and he goes, that's a great joke. Is your dad black? <laughs> go, no, and they go, because you're doing a black guy's voice. I was like, I'm just bad at accents. Uh. <laughs> you were like, yo, Bert, yeah. you ready to go to school, motherfucker? <laughs> motherfucker. But here's what you got to remember. At the end of the day, we'll have better lives because we get to laugh at all this horrific shit, whereas they go, hmm, like what a horrible brain to go, ah, oh, that sucks. And we get to go, that's great. Yeah, We're just, I mean, it's a horrible way to live, to it's not a laugh and live. get upset imagine, about imagine, everything. Imagine, this is a really down thought to bring towards the end of the episode. But imagine if you get like a, a terminal illness and you're that horrible person who just gets offended left and right and can't see the funny in life. Uh. And then that's how life ends, is just going, I knew this would happen. Like, mm. as opposed yeah. to, like, if something happens to me, I'm going to be like, fuck, I'm going out with a bang. You know, I'm going to have a fucking, I'm going to laugh. Dude, I remember, this is, why my, this is my defense for comedy across the board. I've been doing comedy for 19 years, 18 years. We have Abby, or we have Priscilla, our dog. She's got her third knee surgery, and we're about to put her down. We think we're going to put her down. And I'm on the treadmill, and I'm so depressed. I'm thinking I'm going to lose my dog. I love this dog. I love this dog. Greg Giraldo's specials on Comedy Central. And he just tells a joke. And I heard it, and I hadn't heard that joke in the special. And I started laughing. And for a second, I forgot about Priscilla. Yeah. And uh -huh. I, went, I went, oh, shit. Aww. Is that what we do? Like, someone's, and that's why I say, I, I say, know. When, you get, when you get offended, I understand you get offended. But there might be someone going through some real shit that that hit them perfect, and they got to take themselves out of their misery. So pause yourself for a second. Right. And allow. I've had the exact same experience. I have a daughter with heart disease. Really? Yeah, she's three and a half, and it's been a lot. And <laughs> I just real. Can you imagine if I just had a breakdown <laughs> right now? So it's been a lot, and if I didn't laugh through it, like sitting in the hospital seriously with comic friends of mine and just yeah. laughing about shit yeah. and making even a joke out of it, I mean, you ha like if you can't. I just I wouldn't be able to function. Oh, yeah. completely. If I, I didn't know exactly laugh. what you're talking. My daughters I are stupid. And, uh... <laughs> enough, Dad. Enough, Dad. Okay, I'm gonna have to date boys one day. Enough. <laughs> Yeah, I used to wet the bed and I'd sleepovers. I would have to make jokes about it so uh, we could all laugh about it and yeah. then I would feel better. Or It's weirder if you just go, they all know I wet the bed. I wet the bed. It's super weird right now. You can feel it in the air. But if you bring it out, it's way easier. So I, true. I, I have orgasms quick during sex. And the first time I had sex with my wife, I, I knew that it was going to be awkward. Because yeah. Because I'm so quick. 
And so I made a joke. I just came and I went, shh, I think someone's breaking into the house. I'm gonna go check. <laughs> I that Seems like I hope so. Maybe he'll fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a perfect way to end this fucking episode. I think it is. Uh, what do you guys have to promote? Anything to promote? Uh, yeah, you go. I gotta think about this. Tour dates, this will come out probably next month. Yeah, so I, if you go to jessicacurson.com, I have my dates listed, and that's, it's, it's, I'm excited, and I did a, a special with Bill Burr. Oh, that's right! Yeah, oh, shit, we're yeah. making it! So, yeah, Fuck so, yeah! Oh, that, you know what? Bill, we, Bill called me, and we were talking about the, the, is it, the Bill Burr Presents? Uh-huh. And he said who was on it, and when your name came up, I don't think, I think every single person was like, fuck yes. Finally. Oh, that's you're, very you're, sweet. The, you're one of the true murderers on stage. Yes. Thank you. Literally, yeah. literally, and I, I, it, it bums me out that not enough people know that. Yeah. That there is, your favorite comic right now will have a hard time following Jessica. Yes. Whatever you love, couldn't follow Jessica. Well that said. is the truth. Not yes. one person sees her name on the lineup and goes, oh, this is going to be an easy night at work. No, Not no. one fucking person. You that's are a fucking sweet. legit murderer. Thank that's you. When, yeah. when people always go like, do you think women are funny? I'm like, oh, you don't know enough stand-up. Yeah. It has nothing to do with sex. I mean, there no. are it issues. It doesn't. It really like, it doesn't. Just, it I just... feel like I've had more opportunities in some ways, believe it or not. That sure. sounds crazy to people, but it's true. Because uh, they a lot of times they want a funny woman on the show. Sure. You know, and not all guys. So I get sometimes more opportunities that way. But it's the one thing, like if I said to you, like if I said to both of you, what's the one thing you feel like you should have gotten that you haven't gotten yet? Because for me, it was a special. Yeah. I'm like, this is insane. It's way over. I mean, I, that's that really the only thing overdue. I'm like, this is really crazy. The industry sucks. They're clueless. <clears throat> the comics know. Every comic knows that you're a beast. You murder. No one wants to follow you. And, and this is a way overdue. You're one Thank of the you. best. You really are one, one of the of best. One of my favorites. Without, without a you. fucking doubt. Thank and, you. Yeah. And one of the average ones is Mark. I'm so uncomfortable. Mark is just a... <laughs> Just a really good, fun time if it's a Mark is brilliant. Day. He is so you're brilliant. you're not feeling so good. And you're on a first date and you don't want her to like think he's funny. I want her, I want to be the star. And you can go, wow, that guy was all Every right. Every time but. I watch Mark, I'm like, God, I fucking suck at writing. Uh, hey, let me tell you something. Amazing. I'll pay a compliment oh, to Mark. I said this. You are, you yeah. are amazing. I said this to everyone. I know, I'll go in there. I I'm, I'm should be in there. <laughs> You've already been. Uh, Mark, take a Mark to Europe with me was the greatest decision yeah, I ever made. Incredible. He's a human right. Prozac. And he, he made me get back into like writing. I saw Bobby oh, Kelly this that's yesterday. Awesome. It's like, I don't, I mean, I write, but I write in such a long form, I forget uh -huh. to do short and get and like punch up things. And yeah. Mark, everything with Mark is like a premise or a bit. Or like, I remember coming down and going, and this is not how my brain works, but I go, hey, you know anyone that's got a joke about, uh, uh, about, uh, getting molested in the shower, and he's like, huh? And I go, I, I pitch it out to him, and he's like, I don't know that joke. And I was like, really? And I, I, I never write jokes like that, but I, now I'm like, I'm in the shower, and the curtain touched me. I feel like I feel like a ghost is molesting me. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. that's a bit. Like, my, yeah. normally it was just to like let it go. And now it's in the act. And now it's in the act. Yeah. Ba bam. Yeah. Damn. We're writing. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you Thank so much you. for eating Wait. all of this. I gotta promote my. Oh thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mark, 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 Mark. I, no. you know, I got nothing. But uh, MarkNormanComedy.com. I'm all over the road this year. Uh, tons of clubs, tons of weekends, tons of cities, and uh, Tuesdays with stories on iTunes with me and Joe List podcast. And ladies and gentlemen, Another your chef, Jew. Bert Kreischer. Thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend, and I hope you take this time to explore your palate, find out what you like, what you don't like. Bring in your friends, your family, cook for them, love them, share them, share them with other people. Share your family? <laughs> <laughs> I got lost! Get the fucking show up! Hey, thank you, everybody. Yeah. That was fucking great. That was fucking All great. Right. That was fucking I awesome. Love you. <laughs>